Do you want to be back with her? I want to see if there's that possibility. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's putting it lightly. So you just saw Ari explaining to Becca that he wants to end their engagement to see what's possible with Lauren, the woman that he dumped for Becca. Last night's finale of Bachelor was almost painful to watch at some points. No doubt women have plenty of strong opinions, this one included, but here to help us get a better <laughs> sense of what was going through Ari's mind is digital journalist Landon Hoff with the dude's perspective. What the heck? Landon. I mean, what just happened there? How does that even happen? He proposes to the woman, a few weeks or months go by and all of a sudden he's changing his mind on television. Yeah, you said almost painful to watch. I'm gonna go with just just painful to watch. Straight it was just there's bad. no almost. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm I'm sullen. I'm downtrodden. Uh -huh. uh, I feel like there's a lot of guys like me out here that are trying to just get through life, not being thought of as a jerk. <laughs> and then Ari had to go be a big scumbag last night. He set the whole <laughs> male gender back. Yeah, he pretty uh, much did. I'm a little salty about it. So I mean, women are trying to understand here. How is it that you don't know you want to propose or you don't want to be married to someone so much after the? Fact. And not just just some random other woman. It's the woman you actually dumped a few months ago, Landon. Right. The other uh, the other side chick. Yeah. It seems like even more uh, offensive. And that's my thing. So he even tells Lauren before he breaks up with her. He's like, I wasn't even sure till this morning. So he's not only running over with the bus saying he's breaking up with her, but he's throwing it in reverse. He's backing up over her by saying, I've been really waffling did. the whole time. He really did. Uh, you got to hate to see it. And then ABC is billing this as some real. Uh, real reality TV, right? <laughs> With the double cameras, the no edits. What do you make of that? Because honestly, it kind of feels like they exploited Becca. I have to be honest with you. Yeah, it seems kind of interesting, like an interesting caveat to reality television mm -hmm. that's never actually real. I want to yeah. start with this tweet. Uh, this is a Bachelor producer, Mike Fleiss, maybe Fleece. I'm not sure, Mike, if you're watching. Sorry about that. <laughs> Please try to have some sympathy for all involved tonight. These are real people with real emotions. And I agree. We do have sympathy <laughs> for them, but not for you. Right. So why are we taking these real people with real emotions and broadcasting their embarrassment to blast. millions of people? It seems like maybe that's not that's not needed. I'm going to mm -hmm. say about 96% of women who go on The Bachelor get a public uh, breakup. They know what's going to happen, right? But, but at least, while well, I will say, not all guys sort of think the way that Ari thinks. In fact, some were saying that they weren't really a fan of the way this whole thing played out. Yeah, I felt like they were really sticking the knife in and twisting it. Sean Lowe, former Bachelor, always great on Twitter, yeah, by the way. Uh, I don't like this one bit. Shouldn't have filmed it. Yeah, he's one of the, one of the few. <laughs> the the, the few ones. that's still working out. And possibly the three most poignant words from the evening. Make it stop. Yeah. Hashtag The Bachelor. But of course it didn't. It yeah. went on for about 45 minutes. Yeah. Here's the thing though, Landon. It seems there were some red flags for Becca even before this whole thing went down. The meltdown, really. Yeah, so it, it was kind of weird. So Ari's whole family, I guess uh, the apple doesn't fall too far from the garbage tree that in the Lion dad, Dyke family. Right? Yeah. yeah, so Ari Sr., 1992 Indianapolis 500 uh, champion, Ari Sr., uh, he looks back in the face and he says, this little line right here, I think we have some sound. You know, meeting Lauren yesterday, meeting you today, you, you both are really nice, so either way, I'm fine with it. Yeah. yeah. Ari's dad would be happy with we'll either the, one of the us. lady's perspective really mm -hmm. quick. If Boothang goes home to his family and his dad looks you in the face and says either way is fine, how do you feel about that? It's not happening. <laughs> I'm just I'm just saying. Yeah. Trooper for Becca. Okay, you know, with all the nonsense that sort of went down, is there any silver lining to this? Here, here's some silver lining, and I'm sure it's not much of a consolation uh, to Becca, but at least she doesn't have to deal with the train wreck of a name oh, that is <laughs> Rebecca Jill Kufrin Lyondike. That would be unfortunate. So many spelling errors. Uh, also, the real MVP from uh, last night was the alpacas. The so if you're alpacas. Ever, if you're ever down, just look at these little guys here in the top left of that picture. The alpacas were the real heroes last night on The Bachelor. <laughs> Thank you so much for the dude's perspective, Lando. So we'll see how things actually play out with Lauren and Ari, our Dallas lady. So, uh, I mean, if she takes him back, I'm going to have some strong words for her, too. But thank you again for the dude's perspective. Lando. Two more hours tonight, Alicia. Two more hours. Tonight it all goes down. All right, so when we come back, 